Hi, I'm Zach Lim. I'm a copywriter for JWT. Hi, I'm Lance Francisco. I'm an art director in JWT. Really excited. Really kind of overwhelmed. Sometimes I can't sleep at night because I'll just like snuggle in bed. Though, so, oh, I'm going to can. <laughs> then I don't sleep the rest of the night. So, for me, I'm nervous and excited. Uh, nervous to represent, uh, to compete, and then excited to actually represent both JWT and the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. Serious answer. <laughs> <laughs> it was very interesting because this is the first time that they partnered with a natural brand. So when we were going into the brief, we really had to keep in mind that, okay, uh, when they discuss the ideas, they're going to expect that they can execute it. So feasibility was like one of the biggest things that we looked at. Actually, funny thing is, the idea that one was actually the second idea we came up with. The first idea wasn't feasible. And it was like the longest, an hour <laughs> discussing between the two ideas. We could go with this one, it's really cool, but it's impossible. <laughs> so like, why would we do that? So we chose the second one, then turned out it was the better choice. The naging plan namin is, parang after the brief, we would conceptualize na individually so that we can brainstorm. Parang may baon kami pag brainstorming. And then yeah. from there, sa office na kami brainstorm all night. Yeah. It was like, I had to ask a lot of questions. Would this work? Why do you like this? Why do you like this? Why do I hate this idea? How can this be better? It was, parang you were just managing a whole pile of it. And then eventually, some would like float to the top. Like, okay, I guess this works. And then thin it, thin it, thin it, thin it. Until eventually, we got to that one idea. Basically, the brief was to get people to use uh, grab food more. The insight, was that, well, people already use Grab, just not Grab food. And the reason that people are so focused on Grab but not its other features is because they're only looking at their destinations. So we realized that the core insight really was, you already have a lot of Grab users, you have a captive audience, so why not use that? And since you're only looking at your destination, why not use the visual of the destination itself? to sell grab food. So in a way, we were making our own ad space. We thought then na parang, since we're really grab users din naman, yung insight nga is, we, we always look at the pins kapag nagbabok tayo. And then, doon lang tayo nakatitig all the time na parang, we, we don't have anywhere else to look. So what if we actually create that that pin to be a to be an ad space? So parang, we created different um, icons, food icons, food pins for that. And then the mechanics is you you book a grab and then um, pagka book mo may kita yung pin and then from that pin, parang if you click that randomized food pin, parang it will direct you to the nearby food, nearby food places. Kunyari, kunyari, makita mo yung ramen na icon, so pag kinilik mo yun, habang nag-book ka, parang, you'll see, you'll be directed to grab food and then you'll see the nearby ramen restaurants. What really helped us in our process was time management. I think if you jump into it together right away, there's a chance na, well, yeah. time just disappears if you don't focus na, uh, if you don't schedule your day. So what we did was, uh, Lance mentioned that we brainstormed individually. There was a deadline for everything. It kept us on track and the pressure of time really forced us into a decision. So it kind of focused us and like made us work more efficiently. So yeah, manage your time, kids. I think it's important then to have breaks because the pressure really gets up to you. So, what, so you need to really take a break, relax. Step back a little, see if you're doing the right thing, see if you're taking the right path. Yeah. So, kind of, yeah. you can be <laughs> <You're> advertising. <laughs> Listen to your kuyas. <cool> <laughs>